Today I'm going to show you how to get two USB cameras working with a Voxel, Voxel Flight Core, and Voxel 2. So, as you can see here, I have a Voxel Flight with two USB cameras connected to it. And I'm going to be showing you how to get both of those cameras streaming at the same time. So first we're going to have to get into the Voxel. So open up a new terminal window and do an ADB shell to get into the Voxel. And then bash. And now we're gonna have to turn on the cameras on the Voxel, which can be done by doing the Voxel UVC server command. And it's always useful to do a dash H to see all the command line options you have. As you can see here, there is a dash T pipe name, which you might not have because currently um, that is a option in the, in the dev branch of the Voxel UVC server. So in order to get that option, you're gonna have to build from the dev branch. But also, the tweaks on the dev branch will be pulled into the next SDK release, potentially by the time you're watching this video. So let's let's first see which cameras are actually connected to the Voxel. That can be done by doing Voxel UVC, UVC server dash S. And scrolling up a lot, you'll eventually see that there's device one and device two. First code of it is 337B, and the second code of the second device is 32E4. So let's actually turn on the cameras now. So for the first one, Voxel UVC server dash V for the camera code. And we only need the first four letters of it. So 337B and let's set a custom pipe for it. So dash T cam zero, let's do a dash D just to get the debug messages. And it might take multiple attempts to actually turn on the camera. So you might have to do it multiple times and eventually it does work. And now let's actually turn on the other camera. So we'll do an ADP shell, bash, voxel UVC server, dash V, three, two, E4 for the second camera, which your camera codes could be different depending on what models you use. Dash T and we'll make a custom pipe with dash T and we'll call it cam one. And as you can see, turning on the second camera failed. This is because there's currently a bug in Voxel UVC server that prevents multiple USB cameras from opening if they have the same settings. An easy fix to this is to do a dash F for changing the frame rate and setting the second camera's frame rate to 25 frames per second, or depending on what the default frames are for your camera, a different frame rate from the other one. And that should work. And there we go, the second camera works. And now we actually have to stream the camera over an RTSP stream. Now, before we actually get the camera streaming, we're gonna have to actually put the new pipes in the configuration. And to do that, you go to slash etc slash modal AI. And then you go to the voxel streamer that configuration file. And as you can see here, I've already put this, but you could, you could put this down too. For cam zero, I have this configuration and for cam one, I have this configuration. And this is necessary in order to get the two pipes working. And now that we have that done, you can actually start streaming the cameras. Now to start streaming the cameras, you can do a box of streamer. And it's always useful to do a dash H to see all the command line options. As you can see, dash C configuration name is one of them, and that's what we just put in the voxel streamer.configuration file. So let's do a dash C, and let's do cam zero, which is the first camera we have streaming. And let's, uh, and let's, we could set the port number, but it defaults to 8,900, so we're gonna keep that. And let's do a dash D, just to see the debug messages. And as you can see, the first camera is streaming, it gives you the link right here. And let's start streaming the second camera. So voxel streamer, and let's do dash C, cam one. And let's set the ports to 8,901 8, because the first one's 8,900. And let's see the debug messages. And now the second one is streaming. And the IP address is actually gonna be different than 127.0.0.1 because it's a local IP address. So when you're actually connected to the voxel Wi-Fi, it'll be different. Now that we have the camera streaming, um, you're gonna have to actually open up 
the streams to see them. You can either do this in QGraph Control, VLC Media Player, GStreamer, or any other uh, media viewer that you have that can open network streams. And before we do that, we're gonna have to actually connect to the box to Wi-Fi. I'm already connected to it, as you can see. And now let's actually open up the streams. So let's open network stream. And as you can see, I already have it typed in. Uh, this is the IP of the voxel that I have with the 8,900 port to open up the first camera. And let's play this. And there you go. The first camera is playing. Now let's view the second camera. Now let's view the second camera. So we should set this one to 8,901 since the second port was 8,901. And there you go, both cameras are streaming simultaneously. And that's basically it. And that's how you get two USB cameras working on the box of flights. Have any questions? Leave them in the comment section below. Thank you.